Right, this is a Lucas four lobe. And what this says in the instructions is 32 on the left, 32 on the right. So I'm going to assume that those are the right, sorry, those are the left, these are the right. So I'll shut them off and I'm going to be looking at this one. So at the moment, oh, it only works on every alternative one on this one. So there's naught, there, there's the noise. Now this is around about 20... My glasses aren't very good. 28... 29. You can actually feel the resistance here because you can feel it lifting the cam. So that's 20... 8 and a half, 29. So, what I'm thinking what I'm going to try is set this so it's I want 32 I've got 28 so I want to open it two degrees before so rather here that's naught that's one that's two let's come back a bit again so that's two degrees there So I'm going to slacken this right off. So it's really easy to move. That screw's bent, look, can you see it? Look. This is new old stock, this distributor. And I'm going to just this is really easy to slide like this. So I'm just going to move it. There, it, it's made the contact. I'm just going to bring the screw down. Once again, moving the screw. That's made the contact now. This is the other way around to the forward points, tighten it makes it looser, make, takes it away. Okay, so that's tight. I've had my finger on the other one all the time, on the disc all the time, so let's see what this does now. Bring it around to the next one. That's not, <laughs> oops, missed it. Okay, here we are. Start. There. North. Fingers crossed. Thirty one. Thirty two. Bang on. Missed that one. Okay, next one. Start. North. End. I can feel the resistance there trying to lift it so there 32 and a tiny bit ready for the next one naught 31 32 and a tiny bit so I'd say that's okay so I'll lock them down I'll pause it there and then I'll look at these ones. There it is. 32 on the left hand, 32 on the right. Lucas four lobed cam. And it doesn't quote a combined, it's just set that one, set that one. On these ones, that runs four cylinders, that one run runs the other four cylinders. That's the way it works. So I'll be back in a sec. So move the paper from there and put it into there. So I'm going to turn it round, kind of try and get an idea of what's going on. See where the noise starts. Come on, sometime soon, please. There. Right. 
Oh, the north is in the same place. So how can that be? Anyway, let's just see what happens. 32. Well, that's just a tiny bit before. 32. Now this is actually fa the factory setting because I haven't changed this one. Nought. 32. I think it's actually just slightly before the nought, but it is the factory setting. I'm not going to mess about all day, so. Nought. 32. Yeah, 32. So that's 32 and that's 32. So they're set. So I'll pause it there again while I look to see what else you have to check on this because I'm, I'm, this is a bit new to me. Okay. I think I've sussed this out. I'm reading the instructions. What it says. What it says is time in the distributor. Lock the disc by engaging the pin in the hole on the edge of the disc. In the case of Lucas type, turn the distributor body anti-clockwise until the light comes on, then move the body anti-clockwise clockwise until it just goes off. Now mark the timing plate of the distributor against the zero mark of scale on body. Right, so let's put the timing pin in the slot in the hole. Now bear in mind I've got a buzzer not a light so they talk about light but I've got a annoying buzzer so that's in. So we turn the distributor body anti-clockwise there until the noise comes on and we turn it clockwise and what we're looking at here is this heel of this going onto there. Can you see that they're wide heels? It's very clever that is. So you turn the distributor body until it just goes off there. I've got to hold it there now and that's what it says is to mark the distributor get body against the zero. What I suspect they mean is here there are some graduations which will go against the bolt. So I imagine that this pin which <laughs> just happens to be out of view just around the corner but it's, it's in line with where my screwdriver is now there. I imagine you should mark the, the distributor body there there are graduations one two three four so mine is actually on the fourth no it's not on the fifth graduation down you would mark it there and then you would align that with the bolt when you bolt it back on again anyway that's about it except it says synchronizing points on Lucas 4 lobe cam distributor so what it says is to lock the disc by engaging the pin on the left hand side and withdraw the pin sorry and zero the cam degree scale to F line on left hand side so that's engaged the zero is is engaged with the F mark on the left hand side there. So what we do now is I'm, I'm going to hold the distributor body there because I don't want it to move and as we turn it it should go off as each F there as each F mark reaches that zero there. Now that went slightly early that one but that one's about on the mark. That one's alright. That one's alright. That one may be slightly early. That one's alright. So 
I can't really help that the one is slightly early. That just means that, you know, maybe something slightly bent or out of alignment, but as it stands, I reckon the adjustment is pretty good. What it says here is if any discrepancy greater than pl plus or minus one degree should be investigated as follows. If only alternative li lines mark F are correct, slight adjustments should be made to the contact breaker gap until a limit of plus or minus one degree and the scam cam scale is obtained. In other words, if four of them are on the mark and four of them are just behind the mark, you could alter the gap on those four to bring it in line. You would, in, in, in other words, you'd run them at like 31 degrees to bring them up to the mark or something like that and then it goes on to say any discrepancy other than note C1 above will be due to a worn cam bench shaft or a spindle or bearing wear so that's about it now so I would take this distributor bolt it on align the mark I've just put on there with the bolt and basically that's about as good as it gets they're dead simple this is um, a commercial distributor commercial or industrial actually industrial there's no vacuum advance these very broad um, hills on the on the um, that's the cam these are the sort of, you know on the points here that on the followers are very broad they, they last a very long time so no, it's industrial applications, you just bolt it on, fit it and forget it, it lasts for ages. Okay, cheers, I hope that's been useful. Cheers then, bye.